Hi there. Now in this question, we're given that two cubic polynomials are defined by f of x equals x cubed plus a minus 3 times x plus 2b and g of x equals 3x cubed plus x squared plus 5ax plus 4b where a and b are constants. And what we've got to do is given that f of x and g of x have a common factor of x minus 2, show that a equals minus 4 and find the value of b. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, as usual I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So to do this it relies on the factor theorem and I'm assuming you're familiar with the factor theorem just briefly, it's that if f of x is a polynomial and f of p equals 0, then x minus p is a factor of f of x. So what we've got here then is that if x minus 2 is a factor, okay, then we've got p would be 2. f of 2 would therefore equal 0. So that's our starting point here then. So if I just write down here that now f of 2 should equal 0, all I need to do then is substitute 2 for x into here and equate it to 0. So therefore what we've got is 2 cubed plus 2 times, I'll put the x at the front of this bracket, 2 times a minus 3, okay, plus 2b, well that's going to equal 0. And if I simplify this, we've therefore got 2 cubed, which is 8, and then I expand the bracket, we've got plus 2a minus 6, plus the 2b, and that equals 0. And again, if I just group this up, we've got 8 minus 6, which is 2, and then you've got plus 2a plus 2b equals 0. And I've got two unknowns, a and b, so obviously I'm going to need to work with simultaneous equations. I'll just number this equation 1 for the moment. So we need to get another equation. And I know that x minus 2 is also a factor of g of x, so again, g of 2 must equal 0. So if we just put in here that also g of 2 equals 0. If I let x equal 2 and put it in here, then we've got 3 multiplied by 2 cubed, okay, plus 2 squared, plus 5a times 2, plus 4b must equal 0. And if I clean this one up, We've got 2 cubed, which is 8, 3 eighths are 24, and I've got another 2 squared here, which is 4, 24 plus 4 is 28, so therefore 28 plus, and here we've got 10a, and then plus the 4b here, and that equals 0. And I notice that what I could do is just divide through now by 2 and it will allow me to get a 2b here which will match up with this term. So if I divide by 2 we therefore got 14 plus 5a plus 2b equals 0 and I'll number that equation 2. Okay so we can work with our two equations 1 and 2 simultaneously. So we'll just border this off here and what we'll do because because we've got 2b then is the same in both of them, I'll do equation 2, subtract equation 1. 2 minus 1, what does it give us then? Well, we've got 14 minus the 2, so that's going to be 12. We've got 5a minus the 2a, which is going to be 3a, so 12 plus 3a. And then the 2b's cancel one another out, and you've got 0 takes 0, which is 0. And so therefore, if I take 12 from both sides, 3a would equal minus 12, 
and if I divide now both sides by 3, a equals minus 4, which is what we had to show. And so if we're to go on now and find the value of b, I can just substitute a equals minus 4 into either equation 1 or 2. I'll go into equation 1, say. So let's say we just write it here, sub a equals minus 4 then into equation 1. And if I do that, we therefore have that 2, okay, and then we've got 2 times minus 4 is minus 8, plus 2b equals 0. And so 2 minus 8 is minus 6. If I add that to both sides, I end up with 2b equaling 6. Divide both sides now by 2, and therefore b equals 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So a is minus 4, and b equals 3.